friends and family welcome back to my channel i am back in hong kong in my old filming space room so today i thought i would finally film the video that's been requested so many times on my channel and that is a final or like an extra or a you know like a final review on sugar bear hair which I took um, back when I was like oh, 17 going on 18 kind of time and I'm 20 now so I thought it was like enough time for me to finally film something for you guys that's like proper and like honest because I feel like I've gone through this whole process already and there is like a lot of drama around this brand right now but I'm just gonna give you my honest review so I started Sugar Bear Hair back when I was um, uh, 17, 18, so that was like 2016 summer. And honestly, I started it because I was insecure as shit because I cut my hair super short, I think back when I was like end of year 10 kind of time. Um, and my hair just took a long time to grow and it just didn't look good. And I wanted like long, share, like beautiful hair. I had this friend called Mega. I had, I still have this friend. She's like my best friend still. And she had just this long, beautiful hair, and I was like... But I want that too! So I got it with Sugar Bear hair, and it was like the quick fix. It was like back when it almost just started to be a thing on Instagram, and I saw Kylie Jenner doing it, and I was like... Me too! And I was insecure because my hair just wasn't looking great, because it was short. But look where we are now! <laughs> And I took Sugar Bear hair for around one and a half years, so by this time it would be December of my freshman year in college. And honestly, it was just enough for me because they claimed you wouldn't lose your hair right after like stopping, so I stopped. Um, and also because it was just getting too expensive and I just wanted to spend my money on other things like makeup or like... Um, but I started Sugar Bear hair again in the summer of 2018, which by then I would have finished my first year of college, but in my spring semester, I didn't take it. So, um, yeah, 2018 summer, I started it again, but I made, I guess, a smart decision to stop it in November. So by now, I would have been taking Sugar Bear hair kind of on and religiously for one and a half years, and then another, like, let's just say six months of it, and that's like two years-ish. So, I want to divide this video up into pros and cons because it definitely had its pros, but it most definitely had a lot of cons. And I wish I like, did more research, and I wish I just like didn't follow Kylie Jenner. Like She's still beautiful, but like... Anyway, let's go and talk about the pros of Sugar Bear Hair. So definitely it made my hair grow super fast and it was really thick like I think I like if I can find a photo I'll give you like a comparison of the hair my hair beginning of senior year to the end of senior year It was literally like super thick even my hairstylist was like wow you have so much hair like where did this all come from? It also tastes really yummy that's what like a lot of people are saying but it does really taste really like good and it's not like the usual biotin you get off like iHerb or like it tastes good, they're like little cute gummies, you know, like it's a good way to like get your vitamins in like you're a kid, you know, you get those like vitamin gummies, it's like that. <laughs> it also made my skin super glowy, but we will come back to it, it made it like insanely like, yeah, but we'll come back to this point. <laughs> it also made my nails grow super fast, like, and also it was like, it made my nails have super strong nail beds and that made me do gel nails religiously for like my whole of my senior year and I was getting them at like this shitty little shady underground Causeway Bay place and they just shaved my nails so thin but because I was on sugar bear hair it didn't matter it just was like sprouting like crazy but I didn't let my nails breathe so that was also not great <laughs> okay so I guess those are my pros let's move on to the cons of sugar bear hair and before I really go in and shit on it, like, please know everybody's um, bodies are different, everyone processes like, vitamins and, like, biotin especially re quite differently. So, I guess take it with a grain of salt. So, the biggest claim, I guess, um, was like, oh, if you stop taking it, it doesn't affect your hair because I'm pretty sure, like, other biotin 
doesn't do the same thing. I, I don't know because I don't have enough research in this area, but I think that's what happens. And they say like, oh, it doesn't affect the quality of your hair whatsoever. But I can tell you, so my hair got a lot thinner in my second semester and my freshman year, so my spring semester. And like, I just literally noticed this a rat in the, drink, in the dorm showers and I'm like, that's my hair. <laughs> That kind of like made me want to take sugar bright hair again, so I did in the summer, and it was all good, you know, all cute. Then in November, when I was in Canada, my hair was just thinning like crazy because I stopped it again. I just made the decision. I was like, okay, I need to stop. I can't keep taking this, and I just made it super, super, super thin, like literally this, probably. And like, there was so much hair in my shower drain, like even under the shower drain, there was hair, like. So gross, but yeah. I also went to a dermatologist during Christmas and like after the November here period where I stopped it and they did say that I lost 30% of my hair and I was like. Also, it broke me out like crazy amounts, but I really associated a lot of the breakouts with stress in my freshman year because I was like, I'm in a new environment. It's probably stress because a lot of the times when I was in high school my breakouts would be because of my stress so I was like okay it's probably because of my stress so whatever but then weirdly enough when I stopped it the Christmas of 2017 which is my uh, after the fall semester of my freshman year my skin cleared up like I was like what the heck am I doing like I'm kind of doing the same thing like maybe I'm exercising a little bit more but like that's it but I still didn't think it was sugar bear hair. I was like, oh no, biotin's good for you. <laughs> Even though my hair thinned a lot in my uh, spring semester, in my freshman year, my skin was a lot better. I was also, if not even more stressed in my second semester of my freshman year, because I was taking a buttload more classes because I was trying to transfer. But I didn't break out, like I was totally fine. Like maybe a couple on during my period, but like that was it. And I haven't changed anything. My diet has still been the same. I still cut dairy out, pescatarian. And because really the only thing I dropped was sugar bear hair. So I'm not a scientist, but like I want to link those things together. Um, like maybe not cause and effect, but cause and effect for me. <laughs> I guess it didn't affect my skin too much when I was in senior year, so 2016, 2017 time. But once I did take it long term, I 100% saw the difference. I had like chest acne, I was breaking out quite a lot, and it's hard to not associate it with sugar bear hair, but... So after breaking out again, kind of like re when I retook sugar bear hair in 2018, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some research and find out why. Like, I started, it started to click. I'm not very fast. I started to click, and I was like, hey, maybe it is sugar bear hair. So I looked into the ingredients, and I'm no nutritionist or anything, but one of their main ingredients is iodine and apparently that breaks you out because it's like these sugar fillers, I believe. Let me just reread what I noted down. It's like, it says, gummies contain a lot of sugars and fillers. If you already have blemish prone skin and you're taking excess iodine, that can aggravate sebum production in the skin. That could cause breakouts. I kind of associated it with that. <laughs> So November of my sophomore year, I decided to just like take out sugar bear hair and see like if there was a difference because of the iodine. And surely enough, there was a difference in my skin. It was a lot better. All my chest skinny and back knee cleared up. My cheeks were so much clearer and everything. And I really associated that before with my diet and I changed a lot of things, but honestly, I'm guessing at the end of the day, it was sugar bear hair. But again, I'm not a nutritionist didn't really do much science so yeah but that's what I'm guessing because that completely stopped my breakouts if you have any more information please let me know in the comments because I'm actually kind of curious <laughs> as well not just my skin but my hair thinned even more hence kind of why I chopped it but I, I mean I, I like how I look but yeah that's kind of the main reason why I chopped it because I didn't want it to just be like this heavy length so all in all I'm really not a fan of sugar bear hair so I know I said that I really liked it in my first video, but honestly that was like three years ago and being where I am now and taking it like long term for a bit, it really 
just isn't the best. I feel like I feel like it made my hair thin, broke me out, made my skin dull, like I feel like all of its claims are not amazing claims and I don't want to shit on this brand because I did love it for a while, but I don't get how they could claim that eating or taking biotin for a long term or their biotin I'm not sure about other biotins but their biotin and after wouldn't affect your hair because maybe it's my body, my immune system, how I like digest stuff like it didn't work for me at all like I'm thinning a crazy amount so <laughs> I'd love to have an explanation sugar bear hair like I don't feel like it's great to promote, um, I guess, like supplements like that online as well. I feel like a lot of people, i.e. me, when I was like 17, was like, yes, sugar bear, like I'm gonna take it. Like everybody on Instagram is doing it, and I don't feel like that's a wise way to promote your product because I feel like kids are gonna want to take this, i.e. me. Like I was 17, but yeah, like kids are gonna wanna take it so yeah I'm just not a fan of the brand all in all okay so this brings us to the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed this it's a little bit of like a slay video I guess but yeah I wanted to come on here and finally film it for you guys since um this is probably one of my high most highly requested videos out there so um I hope you enjoyed it and let me know with like your experience with biotin and sugar bay hair or if you have any great shampoo recommendations i would also love that so let me know down below and if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will post as many videos as i can i'm also interning now so i will i want to film my experience about that so that will be up very soon and i will see you guys in my next video